Both of my grandmothers knitted, and one of them just purely all by hand, and amazing fancy patterns and large things for someone knitting on needles. And my other grandmother um, had a knitting machine. And I actually learnt to use a knitting machine when I was at uni doing uh, textile teaching. And my grandmother that had the knitting machine gave me her old one, so I learnt to use that. It's certainly faster than hand knitting for me. I'm a pretty slow hand knitter. So looking at the output that I'm trying to get, I really need something a bit speedy. And it's something that's happening all over the world. It's also called yarn bombing in America. And basically it's about knitting and stitching the knitting to structures and places. And I sort of started doing it because I wanted to cheer up some things that I thought looked a bit boring or a bit ugly. Uh, it was interesting last night in the mall while we were installing the nitty art that I've made for the council. I usually call it knit graffiti, that's a more general term, but I'm reluctant to use the word graffiti at the moment because it's a bit contentious. So the nitty art installation that went up, we met a lot of tourists. So when I say we, I had some friends helping me install, thankfully, at about um, 10 o'clock last night. And a lady from Israel came over and she didn't have a lot of English and she asked me if I spoke French or Spanish, which I don't, so we tried to communicate in English. And she told me about a woman in Israel who crocheted a tree. And I said, I've seen that photo. That photo has gone around the world on emails. And I said, I got it at the start of the year and that's what inspired me to knit graffiti the tree in the Todd Mall. I said, I can't believe you know that woman. I've got that photo, I love it. So it was just amazing, this Israeli woman. And yeah, she was really excited. She, we sort of understood each other enough. And um, yeah, it was great, it was really special. It's uh, colourful, inventive, and I believe it had some character to the place. I mean, just having the same brownish green poles uh, that never seem to be cared for it looks ugly and rather repulsive in my opinion. Because yeah, maybe a paved mall and that, but there's not a lot to look through when you're walking down here. I ride around everywhere and you sort of write, everything's in your face. You don't have the protection of a car and windows. Everything's right there and you breathe it in. And, and I just started seeing ugly things and I wanted to pretty things up and yeah, and it was sort of fun and light-hearted and I was aware that it's, it was picking up around the world and I thought, oh, I want to do that. That looks like fun. So I started with some installations for the Art at the Heart Regional Arts Australia National Conference last year and it's grown from there. People love it. I'm doing a lot of things for mates, bull bars and letterbox posts and mm, roof racks, you name it, all sorts of things. And yeah, people say, they email me afterwards or, or text me and say, oh, I love the knit graffiti. Every time I drive out of my driveway and every time I drive back in, I smile and you know, it makes me feel really good. And I think how simple is that? You know, it's a bit of knitting. Mm -hmm.